What's up guys? I just made like a 10 minute long video and YouTube decided to delete it, so that's always great. Um, anyway, today is my two year on testosterone anniversary. I was going to make a little like picture montage video similar to what I did last year for my one year, but I never got around to it and so that's not what I'm doing. <laughs> um, let's jump right into it. Um, you know, I had a few suggestions on what to talk about in this video as far as physical and emotional changes, um, how I feel now that I'm comfortable with myself, which I guess would kind of correlate with emotional changes, and um, like also advice on how to get started. I think I've made numerous videos on how to get started in your transition, so that's not really something I want to talk about in this one. But, you know, if you do have any questions or... Um, you want advice or whatever, you can always send me a message and then we can talk about it. Anyway, as far as physical changes go, I saw more physical changes in my second year than I did my first year. Um, my facial facial structure changed more. My face isn't so round anymore. Uh, more facial hair, which is still not a lot. Um, <clears throat> Side note, I went to the barber the other day, and he just, like, shaved my my sideburns, and I was pissed. Anyway, um, my voice, I, I feel like, is a little bit deeper. I lost some weight and some pants, dropped in some pant sizes, and my, my hips have gone down a lot. Compared to what they were, I mean, they're still kind of there, obviously, but... They used to be like I, out to here, I sort of got. So that's good. Um, what else? I'm a lot more hairier. As you can see, my stomach is hairy. My legs are hairy. Everything is just like a wild forest of hair outside of my face. Hold, please. Um, anyway... Yeah, I have enjoyed my second year on testosterone. I just feel like it was a lot better than the first one. The first one, I had a lot of struggles, and there was getting top surgery, and your name change, and your sex change, or your like sex marker changed, and getting a new ID and social security card. It's just like all these things that you have to do and sit through and pay for, and recover from. It was just like tiring. And the second year, I could just fucking be me and that's great uh not to mention that first year you're just in that you're just stuck in that like in between nobody knows what you are your awkward looking stage and i i feel like i finally like transitioned out of that in my second year so that's really great um i've been fairly passable since I started T, but even in that first year, there would be ever so often someone who would misgender me, and that has not happened one time since, you know, my second year on testosterone. So that's good. I feel like I was finally able to just live, and I just am generally a lot happier about life. Um, things don't really get me down as much. Uh, emotionally, I'm not as emotional as I was prior to starting testosterone. I think I've talked about that before. Um, even, like, I still get angry and frustrated and, you know, sad. But more times than not, I, I feel like I'm pretty happy. Um, even in the bigger picture, I'm just happier. When... When I'm sad and I feel like I want to cry because pre-testosterone, that was like an outlet. Like that was a way to get those emotions off my chest and out. I, I can't do that anymore. Um, I think I've cried maybe a total five times in the last two years. That might even be stretching it. And so it's, it's kind of awkward when you're really upset and you want to release like you're, um, you're used to and you can't. But... That in itself can be a little frustrating, but for the most part, I enjoy that change, so that's good. Um, I'm just all around happier. Uh, yeah, that's all I can really say about it. 
just all around happier. Alright, uh, let's see, today is the 22nd, so that means December 7th was my one year and six month post-op anniversary, so I'm just a little over one, one and a half years. Um, I had my chest surgery with Dr. Medali in Cleveland, Ohio. I swear to God the camera makes these look darker, but yes, this is my chest. This is my good side. It's a lot lighter and a lot thinner, as you can see. And then this side, I've shown you guys a million times if you've watched these videos, it's just, that drives me crazy. But I am extremely happy with the results. I don't think that I could have really asked for something better. Um, I'm extremely pleased with my choice on the surgeon I went to. I know most trans men are very, very, um, what's the word I'm looking for? They're just really into Dr. Garamoni. Nothing against him. I just per don't really prefer his work from what I've seen. Um, so I'm, I'm very happy that I chose to go with Medali. I think he's a great surgeon and I highly recommend him. Side note, or that was a side note, I guess. Um, for any trans men who are post-op, if you've experienced this problem, for the love of God, just let me know I'm not alone. Nipples, okay? Let's talk about nipples. My nipple, I never had a problem with, like, dry nipples pre-surgery, and now I do. I am a weirdo. I have to shower every day. I know that's probably not great for your skin, but I can't help it. have to. Um, and I don't moisturize, so this is, I'm bringing this all upon myself, I know this, but I just want to know that I'm not alone. But yeah, okay, so my nipples get dry, literally, my nipples, not around them, just my nipples. And I'll get dry skin on them, and then it itches, and then I'll put lotion on it, and then it feels better for like an hour, and then it happens again, and it's like I don't know what to do. I'm just constantly like... And my coworkers make fun of me, and it's just never a good time. <laughs> I know, like I said, I know I should probably just moisturize them more, but it's it's weird. I've never had to moisturize nipples. What is that about? Why? I thought about asking my surgeon, but I didn't know if I would sound ridiculous. Like, dear Dr. Medali, I have dry, itchy nipples. That's disgusting and weird. Whatever. So I guess I'll just have to like buy like little lotions for my nipples and just moisturize them every hour for the rest of my life, unless somebody suggests something better. Okay, another change, well it's not really a change, but um, acne, I never had acne pre-T, I do now, I hate it, I can't stand it, uh, my first year. I didn't even have acne until about six months on T, then it blew up, and then uh, it got better around like a year on T, and then it just got worse than it's ever been. I wash my face two times a day, some days three, depending on if I feel gross, and it just, everybody's like, oh, the acne comes when the hair comes. Bullshit. All the places I have hair, I've never had acne, and... The places I have acne, I don't have any hair at all, but it's just, like, super bad, and I don't know what to do about it. Um, I even got desperate the other day, and I googled how long does a male puberty last, because I was like, I'm essentially going through puberty, and I want to know how long it lasts, because maybe this acne will go away when that kind of settles down. It said two to five years, okay? This is my second year on T, therefore... At worst, I have three more years of this shit. That's not okay. I would be okay if I had a beard, but I don't. So that's not okay. So any suggestions on that? I've tried so many over-the-counter face wash. I've tried proactive. Pretty much tried it all, and I can't really... I mean, I can't say whether or not it's helping because I don't not wash my face, and I'm sure if I didn't wash my face, it would be a lot worse. But it's not helping as much as I would like. So, again, I need I need advice for itchy nipples and acne. 
God, I'm a winner. Ladies must love me. All right, that's it, guys. Um, two years on T down. Merry Christmas, Happy Kwanzaa, Happy Hanukkah, whatever you support. If you don't do holidays, then I hope you have a great December and um, Happy New Year. And if you don't celebrate the New Year, then I don't, you know, happy, happy life. <clears throat> I hope everybody gets what they asked for, and I hope they have a great time with their families. And, you know, I hope nobody at your Christmas party misgenders you, and if they do, take your eggnog and throw it in their face and then punch them, or just be a little understanding. I don't know. Alright guys, I will catch you later, mm. whenever I decide to make a video again, if I do. See ya.